please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Hello, 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 and welcome to Storytime with the Grown Woman. That swag in the W is silent. I want to thank you in advance from the intro, and we're going to get right into this. So, Jeannie Mai and Jeezy have been the topic ever since divorce papers were leaked or someone found them on the internet. And people are saying that Jeannie Mai did not know. Well, I'm going to stand on my stance that she knew, but this is not the video for that. We are here to hear what Jeezy has to say in regards to if she contests the prenup, the divorce, and everything else. So it's being said that Jeannie Ma will most definitely contest everything and um I also posted this video of a lady who knows Jeannie Mai and says that Jeannie Mai will take Jeezy for every dime. So before we hear Jeezy, we're going to let you hear this lady who feels like that's what's going to happen. And I'll come back. Her close friends with her wanted to travel and, and looked at uh, the different um, nonprofit organization of which she she uh, that that's how we had the interaction. But it turned out that she went back to the, to the U.S. and claimed that she was she was uh, donating to all of these organizations, which she did not. It was a marketing ploy. So yeah. just based on that, just just based on that attitude alone. Um, I figured she, Jeezy will lose his shirt, definitely. <laughs> because, because if she's taking, if she's profiting from the poor of her own countrymen, she is definitely going to take both his shorts, his pants, and his shoes. <laughs> wow. So you think she's definitely going to, you think she's going to contest the prenup? Oh, for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, this lady is claiming to know. Jenny Mai, she spilled some really good tea. And if you want to watch the video in its entirety, you can go on the lead attorney and um, you'll see the live. And um, like I say, you can filter through that to see the video in its entirety. Or you can check my video out where I've broken most of it down and gave dialogue on it. So, yes, this is what she's saying. Well, recently about... I want to say a week or so ago, Jeezy appeared on the one and only former NFL quarterback Cam Newton's show, uh, Fun Funky Friday Podcast, but it's Cam Newton. And uh, the two, well, they took a trip down memory lane. And also, y'all, if you don't know, I'm from Georgia, so I'm, I'm, I'm Team Jeezy. And uh, they talked about music. They talked about uh, Jeezy's re recent book. They talked about bacon, breaking boundaries and, you know, just a slew of other things that they talked about. Well, one question that Cam asked Jeezy, and mind you guys, he had his ring on during this interview so the interview was about a week or so ago when it was uploaded when they had the actual interview i don't know but in it he had his ring on it on but i will say this y'all sip tea he did not mention genie my at all anyway so um <laughs> cam asked him um to be honest and frank, he says to the extent of, if you lost everything today, how long will it take you to get it back? And this was Jesus' response. Listen, listen to the clip. Give you a situation. Let's say you lost everything today. Wow. Give me a realistic timeline when you could get it back. Tomorrow. Like, you lost, okay, cool, boom. Financially, strap me empty. How long will it take for you to get back and be like, bro, knowing what I know now? Tomorrow. Mm. I mean, because of what? I have real relationships, bro. I have people in real places that really 
rock with me because I've done stuff for them, they've done stuff for me, and we just have a synergy. And once you get in these type of groups, they look out for each other. You know, guys, I've seen so many responses in, in regards to this situation, and a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, that, that was un... That match was didn't look like they would make it. They they were not, they didn't fit. They didn't this, and you know the reason people are saying that is because they only know Jeezy as a rapper. They don't know Jeezy as a businessman, a serial entrepreneur. They they don't know him as that. They only know him as a rapper, and. And that's always the funny thing is, you know, when people only know you as one way and then, you know, you change. And for me, even in, a, in my first initial video, I said that I thought maybe he lost himself. But when he filed for divorce, that allowed me to see that Jesus did not lose himself. Well, anyway, so many people are saying, you know, it wasn't going to work. They could see it that they didn't match, you know, this and that. But they only they were on, they were only saying this because he's known to be a rapper. But in that interview, interview with Cam Newton. Jeezy went on to talk about building relationships and, you know, just so many different things on a level that most people would not even think that he would talk on. So I hope after watching this and after going on Cam's show to watch the video as well in its entirety, that you guys will gain a different perspective about Jeezy. And, um... We're going to look at a second part of the actual interview or, or, um, of the interview. We're going to look at the second part where he talks about um, building relationships and how important that is. So um, let's listen to that and we'll come back. Different when you're out here and you're working for every penny, but if you're working for every penny, that's good because money is a tool, so it's not nothing that if you lose, it's, 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 it's the end of the world. Because as you're working for that, if you're building integrity, you're going to have people around you that's going to make sure that you get back right. in pocket because they know how much you mean to them and they know how much you mean to the culture. However, if you're out here and you're doing... <laughs> you gonna... By the way, if I was doing... Yeah. The answer to that question would be totally different. Yeah. <laughs> Another 10 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? But... Hey. <laughs> but relation, but that's what I tell everybody, man. I got one of my guys. He's just a social guy. Everybody loves the guy. He go to spend and get FaceTime in with everybody. And I tell him all the time, like, bro, like, you, you're so wealthy, you don't even understand, bro. Mm -hmm. Relationships are the most Everything. wealth you can ever have. Everything. You got good relationships, you'll never go without anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, you know, just always be solid with people, always be consistent with them because you just never know who's gonna be in power, mm -hmm. right? And at the same time, if you're solid with them and you're consistent with them, if you ever need them, they're gonna be there for you because that's what relationships are about. Right. Okay, so as you listen and heard that clip from the interview, you see where Jeezy talks about being um, solid, being consistent, and um, you know, how he says different relationships are the best to have, especially those that that are trustworthy relationships, especially those who um, ensure that the people in their circle, circles are doing well. And uh, again, you know, this I made this video in response to what the young lady in the live said and, you know, with what a lot of the bloggers are saying, you know, and talking about the contesting of the prenup and the divorce. So, yeah, you know, Jeezy is not the man that a lot of people think he is. Um, and again, I can tell that, <clears throat> that, that they don't know Jesus. They're only going on the exter exterior. But at the end of the day, Jesus changed the entire era. Jesus, like a lot of the stories that they talked about, I can remember those days. I'm from Georgia. I'm a fan. And like I said, so many people hold on to the past or they just gather the information that they hear from bloggers who hold on to the past. 
and only know the path. But again, I hope this gave you guys a different perspective of Jeezy. And um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in the comments. You know, what do you think about what he had to say and how he's grown so much from those Jesus the Snowman days. Let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, thank you so, so much for listening to Storytime with a Grown Woman. That's swag and the devil is silent. If you didn't, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that notification to see when I upload a video. Bye.